Good afternoon everyone, so today we're at a Vauxhall, it's a Vauxhall Astra and it's a 2017 model and it's a 1.4 engine, engine code LE2. So the complaint with this is, I'll show you the scan tool actually, we have a PO172 fuel trim system rich, that's current, and a P1100 and one intake airflow system performance and that's in history so just look let's see if there's any other codes in this uh, so it comes up in the obd side of things at p1101 so let's think so just looking at that you would think this one here the air intakes causing that one up there the fuel system trim trim rich so if you can actually if you hear it, it's maybe not so bad. The idle's just a little bit up and down, if you know what I mean. It's a... Uh, oh, there you go, there you go. So, <clears throat> it's actually Roddy's brother who owns this car and he's complained for a while, cutting out at junctions and bits and pieces. So, we'll go into the engine. Uh, let's go into here. Uh, stop start system, Roddy? No, I don't think so. Not fitted. They put you in the loop here, mass scan tool only goes up to 2016 and this is, I came up with 2017 so let's see if it loads so data engine data so sh air mass, there's grams, so it is moving engine load 36 coolant 86 so fuel control loop status, we're in closed loop, loop and it says the air equivalence ratio command is 1. That's just what it's looking for. Oh, here's a big one. HO2 sensor 1. Let's, let's graph that. Oh, that's, that's picture perfect. And then HO2 sensor 2. So that's actually, it looks okay at the moment, I would say. So it's certainly be able to uh, look at the, control the fueling. Mm. Grams a second. Right enough, if the idle's going up and doing that's maybe why it's a bit jagged. Uh, air intake sensor 30. So there it goes again. Oh, see, there's a big spike. I wonder if we've got an air leak. Hmm. Uh, ambient temperature 17. Map sensor. Hmm. 5, no idea. Turbocharger. Do -do. One. Injector duty cycle. 1, that looks a bit normal. Long term fuel trim. Oh, there we go, there's a big one. Long term fuel trim. Minus 31. Oh, that's a telltale sign. So that's taking away 31% of fuel, fuel, so it's no, obviously no happy at something. So if we can find our short terms here. You see short terms, Rudy? Right? Yeah. Right, okay, what we can do? We can go into this menu. I think there's no data for fuel trims anyway. Fuel injector data, EVA. Fuel system data, there we go. Look at the list. Current fuel. Right. Desire 57 psi. I would imagine that. That's all right. I'll have a look. I'll narrow them down. So I managed to drill down and get the data. So you can see our short term is okay. It's at minus six, minus ten. But a long term is pegged at minus 31. So if you take long term plus short term, oh, we're at minus, minus 40. So what we're going to do is just with this running is disconnect the MAF sensor and see if we can bring a fueling trims back in. So I'll show you that. In fact, the acid test would be if the engine idles a bit better. Eh? So.
Mm. It's a bit juddery, eh? It's not up and down anymore, mm. eh? Let's look at the data. Oh, it's correcting itself. Look at that. Oh, I see it's coming, it's correcting itself. Well, he's going that, and he, I think that should come back because he was at minus 31. Put this off. So that's a total fuel trim is zero. That's perfect. I think it's the math, the math sensor. See that? Because you take that in and take away that in. Let's take away. Sorry, I'll rephrase that. You take this one and you subtract that one. That's an English interpretation. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think there's much need to go much further with this one. Although Roddy was saying that the math sensor out of stock, or can I get them? So I think it'll be a main dealer only part. Uh, it's like sounding better, isn't it? Oh, that's that's lovely. So you've no longer got that surging. So we'll contact the main dealer, price this up, and take it for there. Apart from maybe air leaks, but an air leak would not cause a rich condition. That would cause a lean condition. So we're not worried about that. So the only thing that would cause a rich condition is maybe an evap purge valve stuck open, high pressure. Don't think we've got that. Uh, if I can think of anything else about an edit. The other thing, this is uh, the high pressure system that's in that. It's like a common rail diesel. What do they call it again? Can't remember, but I suppose if we just stick to the simple things in life, just looking at fuel trims, the rest can, can it take care of itself. We don't need to dive in too deep. So that sounds better already. Anyway, our price sensor up. disconnected. Look at the, the O2 sensor, number one. That is perfect. So, and then there's O2 sensor number two. Now, I always found them a bit confusing, but on the O2 sensor two, you certainly don't want it looking like that. You want a straight line, either high or low. So, and then you can see our, our, our fuel trims there. Uh, minus five and minus two, and the thing's idling a lot happier. The other thing I was going to say to you, look at this. There's a lot of information on this car. Uh, what did we go into uh, fuel system data? There you go. So high pressure command. Fuel pressure. So this will be in the low side, 72 psi. And then this is a high side, 550 psi. This will be a GDI system. That's what I'm looking for, GDI. Could not remember. So if it's a GDI system, they're absolutely notorious for cooking up the intake valves because there's no any petal spraying on back of the valves but I don't think that's what's up with this thing anyway but uh, anyway so you just remove it by uh, two T20 screws there it's here there's the ambient temperature sensor there and the actual air mass meter bits inside so you can see it's a Bosch part number we spoke to the main dealer they were wanting 160 pound so I don't think we want to pay that so we'll try and source one but the worrying thing is the main dealer doesn't sell very much of them. Right enough at that price, you're not expecting to sell a lot of them. <laughs> but anyway, we'll pop that back in. I think if anybody's got any better ideas, you can get back to us. Cheers.